What's up guys, Ragnarok here with episode number 39 of my High Elves Mortal Empires campaign on Legendary Difficulty. So uh, previously we uh, fought these rebels and, uh, and won, took a little bit of damage, um, nothing too serious. Um, Tyrion is also ready for his uh, quest, so we're going to teleport and do that. But first, uh, we'll finish the rebels off, uh, only because... Well, we'll save the big battle for a second, or the bigger battle for a second. Um, we're going to have to fight this manually. Um, uh, probably, actually, well, I just want to absolutely make sure we don't lose a dragon. I, I know it's unlikely with the balance of power so strong in our favor. But um, just to be on the safe side, in the past um, Total War games, uh, the, uh, you know, the larger the uh, the creature, or I guess um, the lower the unit count in the unit model, uh, or the the lower the unit model count in the in the unit, uh, the worse it would perform in auto resolve. For example, elephants in uh, Rome two uh, perform really poorly in auto resolve, um, as far as I know. Um, same thing with. Uh, the uh, the cavalry and uh, even in uh, Warhammer One, I think the uh, the the single unit uh, um, the single model uh, units um, perform poorly. Like uh, demigriff knights, for example, uh, performed uh, really poorly in auto resolve, which is why uh, Legend of Total War in his Empire campaign didn't uh, recruit them. Uh, now this may have been adjusted or whatever uh, for this game, but um, I just want to be absolutely, uh, absolutely sure we don't um, we don't lose one of these bad boys. We spent quite a bit, uh, quite a bit to, um, to get a hold of them, and not to mention, uh, not to mention it. Uh, Shoot, I totally lost my train of thought. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I have no idea what the fuck I was gonna say. Um, oh, what am I doing here? Damn it to hell. Um, I just want to ungroup this. I want to get a little practice with my uh, my archer army as well, because um, this this stack is gonna be completely filled with archers, uh, just uh, zelin zelinolin and uh, archers. Um, it's possible we'll keep the wizard in there, but um, I don't know. It's unlikely. Um, I just want uh, this uh, this force to back up our sieges, so that we can take down anything like a double stack, triple stack, anything that's in a fucking settlement. We can take down with this army. Uh, yeah, that's the idea. Um, obviously, we'll have to. Fuck, I don't know what I'm waiting for there. Um, yeah, I've been recording all day, so, um, I may be, actually, don't move up. Fuck, what are you doing? Maybe a little bit off here. I took, I took quite a long break. Um, just watched the hockey game. My, uh, my Habs were playing, so, um, actually, we probably shouldn't take a whole lot of damage. Try not to take a whole lot of damage on our garrison because we've got enemy forces in the area. So, you just move up a little bit, and you move up a little bit as well. Yeah, uh, put you guys on guard mode. Good stuff. Yeah, this should only take a minute, guys. Um, these archers should um, take care of these poor, lonely spearmen without too much trouble. There we go. Wow, that's fucking beautiful. Look at that. Fantastic. Yeah, I... Oh, man. I cannot wait. Everything I'm hearing about the uh, the new Total War is um, been really, really good. Uh, or what they, they have planned for historical titles coming up. Get over here and breathe some fire on these guys. You too. Um, yeah, the new historical title. Apparently, they've been doing... Um, they've mapped out historical... Um, Historical cities uh, from whatever era it is that they're uh, they're doing it. Um, come on, don't let these guys get to the uh, to the line. Seriously, you gotta be kidding me. 
I guess I don't have the best angle. Dragons get over here and fucking kill them. I guess we'll take a little bit of damage here. Get in here. Oh man, look. They've done a fantastic job in this game, I gotta say. The the artwork, just beautiful. It's uh It's uh something special for sure. I mean look at the, the animation, the way these dragons move. Um it's fucking fantastic. Um anyway, yeah. Alright, cool, let's uh Let's, um, why isn't that, uh, all right, there we go. All right, cool. Um, I'm just going to check something quick, guys. Okay, uh, sorry about that guys, I just wanted to check quickly uh, if the recording was going. Um, yeah, just, um, anyway, I, I am pretty sure everything is alright. Uh, I would be really upset if we lose an episode, especially this episode where we're doing the quest battle. But I mean, if it happens, it happens, what can you do? Um, yeah, we'll take the, tr actually... We'll take the replenishment here. It's only 500, uh, 500 gold. We'll take the replenishment because uh, we've got uh, enemy forces in the area, and we do not want uh, do not want them to get uh, anywhere get past uh, Vol's anvil. So we'll just have this force camp out here until uh, until Tyrion is done dealing with uh, Marathi in the north, and we'll bring Tyrion back down this way. Um, all right, uh, what, uh, yeah, we'll go Iron Disciplinarian, and, uh, oh, we got another level, and, uh, da, 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 no, you don't need that, and, uh, Merchant Lord, good stuff, you've also leveled up, um, I want to go Hinder Replenishment, so we can, uh, can Fuck up some armies, uh, if need be. Alright. Good stuff. Protector of the Everqueen. Protector of the Everqueen. Alright, he's almost, uh, fuck, almost maxed out, which is fantastic. We've got 19 turns, I think, until Chaos shows up. I mean, if Chaos doesn't show up at all, then fuck, that's going be great. But they, uh, yeah, no word of them yet. Uh, reinforcements expected. Tyrion's army, what do we got here? Um, Alright, so uh, let's do this. Alright. Okay, we're... Okay, Tekalis is uh, coming. Alright, so... This is a... Uh, not going to be easy, especially with the matchup that we have here, but um, leadership plus five. Let's give that to one of you guys. Banner of Swiftness. Let's give that to Tyrion. Armor piercing damage plus ten. Maybe we should give the armor piercing to Tyrion. No, we'll give the armor piercing to you. You guys need to hold the line. Immune to psychology. Um... Just give it to one of you guys. Give it to you, I guess. All Let right. Glory to be won. Let's see how this goes. I guess we could have put some of the spears in here. Maybe that actually would have been a good idea. I have faith in the archers, and I have faith in the cavalry. Sort of. I mean... <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. The, I guess the Silver Helms haven't exactly performed very well. But as we saw in the previous battle, mobility is king on the battlefield. So we just have to cripple, uh, take out their legs, and then, uh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, let's start it up. 
Wolves of Althwan, to me, the scum of Nagaroth approach. They think to cage us in, but is the lion trapped when cornered by the rat? Do warriors squirm when confronted by weaklings? No is the answer. Gird your souls. Let them come. Understood. Archers, understood. All right, you guys just back up. I just wanna, wanna get. Um, actually, you're okay where you are. June. I hate how it doesn't let you deploy for these fucking battles. That really bothers me. Um, for these uh, quest battles, but anyway. Um, you guys get up there. And, uh, alright. Um, white lions, you guys need to get out up front. Let's get this out of the way. Alright. Where is, uh,. Oh shit. Actually, let's, uh... You turn around and shoot these, uh, fucking horsemen. Get the fuck over there, what are you taking so long for? Alright, how are we doing here? Alright, I think this is going okay. Thus far, actually, you come over here and... I'll deal with these dark riders. Alright, I think that's going okay, actually. Get in there. Hit them. Get back up in line. Can run down those bleak swords. Alright, here comes Malekith. Alright, that wasn't so bad. I was a little bit, uh... A little bit worried there for a second, but, um... Let's pull back out, actually. Back over here. Guys, just change your angle and see if you can target these uh, dark riders. How's Tara doing? Alright. Get in there, my friend. Get them. See if we can get rid of them. Get them off the field. Actually, you guys come back up here. Don't get, uh, don't get too close to the lava. That's all we need is, uh, you guys to, uh, silver helms. Guys, get out of there. Oh, shit, right, we've got three. Okay, yeah. Yeah, see, the cavalry seems to perform uh, a lot better when you have it in numbers, which is, uh, you know, makes sense, obviously. Guys, get lined back up. Tyrion, you get back here. And, uh... Is this? All right, yeah, you you stay back here for now. What do we got coming down here? Cold one nights. All right, uh, you guys get some shots in on those cold ones before they crash into the silver helms. You guys, uh, yeah, you can go help them, Tyrion. Actually, go help them as well. Shoot those things. See if we can hit them. Where are you going? Alright, looking good, looking good. Alright, Malekith is really taking his sweet time getting up here, eh? Oh, son of a bitch. Guys, I'll get in there. You pulled back, you've taken some damage. Actually, Tyrion, where are you? You go help the, uh, the Silver Helms. Get in there. Back there. Tyrion, go help them. Archers, you guys are gonna need to... Alright, you guys gotta get back here. 
All right, Tech Bliss, just in time. Very nice. Oh yeah, fucking fantastic! I for almost forgot that we were getting uh, getting reinforcements. All right, guys, you need to bring down Malekith. Ooh, ooh, that was nasty. Just, uh... Actually, don't engage him. He's gonna fuck you up. Let's see if we can get him to chase you. Alright, yeah, that's it. The archers will take care of him. Alright, good stuff. Um, guys crash into the back of these black guard. Let's see if we can save these white lions. And uh, actually, you pile in there as well. You guys can pull back. Let the other uh, white lion force... Uh, Take them on. How are we doing over here? Are you still in the air? Um, you get in there too. All right. I think, uh, yeah, I think this is going really well now. Very nice. All right, easy peasy. So I'll make sure I save this, survive the Dark Elves invasion. Cool. Um, just in case uh, something happened with my recording and I didn't uh, didn't get this, uh, instead of airing um, the episode, I guess I'll just air the replay of the battle. Um, but I, I think it's recording. Um, it seems to be going all right. How, uh, how are we doing for time? We got about 15, 15 minutes left, or a little less than 15 minutes, but. Yeah, that went really well for not having very much infantry, just, you know. Um, yeah, it seems like an unbalanced army composition, but I don't know. It holds up really well against the AI anyway. Um, plus, I think we were supposed to do this quest ages ago. Um, so, what can you do? Um, Let them go. Yeah, just take the replenishment because uh, you guys have work to do over here. So we want to get you, um, well, work to do over here, I mean. All right, good stuff. All right. Tyrion returns the dragon armor to Ball's anvil where it was first created. While Tyrion impatiently waits with the Ball, Smith... Smiths rekit the armor. He is called to the shrine's entrance. Druki gathers. Certainly no Tyrion's whereabouts person. Perhaps, uh, yeah, we read this already, but I guess I'll just might as well finish it now. Uh, perhaps the armor's failing was a trap after all. Tyrion prepares his host for war. He will face the hated bow without his usual protection, although he does not need it, for he is Uthlon's defender. Cool beans. Very nice. And he uh, leveled up. All right, very nice. Um, what uh, what do we want to get for this bad boy? So we want to save three levels for uh, Sky Master. Three points for Sky Master. This is level thirty six. So thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine. I think we've just got the four points left. Um, damn. So I guess we might as well put it in full plate because that, I mean, we could put it in wound maker plus 5%. How much weapon damage does he do already? Actually 5% would be quite high. Let's put it in wound maker. Give him that. Alrighty. So he's tapped out for now. So we'll, uh, we'll move to take the Phoenix gate in the next two turns. And uh, have yet another showdown. Damn it! I didn't mean to do that. Yet another showdown with uh, Marathi. Oh, uh, well, what the hell was I doing here? All right, looking good. So we've almost got these dark elves purged out of here. Our allies are pressuring in them on the outskirts. And uh, yeah, as I said, um, what would happen if uh, these guys attacked us? Our allies would encroach on their uh, territory. Which uh, they have. The only problem is we are cut off from Hexo Adol for trade. So I don't know if we were to take these settlements. I don't know if that would give us trade with them. I feel like we'd still be cut off because of the uh, 
the empire. So we might not be able to reestablish trade with the lizard men. Oh, wait, you know what? I bet it, this... I think uh, this actually... No, maybe not. Fuck, I don't know. Maybe? Is this... No, I don't know. Anyway, we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, cool. We got some building to do. Um, I think over here, this province first is the most important one. Uh, just get the public order uh, completely under control. So we don't have to worry about coming back here. Get some more finances going. Alright. How far can you make it? Can you make it to the next province? No, not quite. Alright, so we'll do building uh, building up here next time. Once uh, Once our builder arrives. That'll be good. We'll save a little bit more cash. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll. And then when she makes her way back, when she doubles back, we'll uh, we'll finish these off. We'll finish off uh, Lothurn. There's no particular rush uh, to get this stuff. I mean, obviously it's going to help considerably, but um, you know, there's no particular rush to get these dragons. These uh, sun dragons will be fine for now. Um, try and get some more of them when we can but she just needs to hold out here um, against these guys yeah we damaged them they're replenished now but at least we slowed them down so if they do come down here what's the garrison like I mean it's not huge however uh, with these guys and these we should be able to take this on I hope so anyway um, and then Tyrion should be able to get down there relatively quickly. We'll leave, uh, we'll leave the artillery to hold the line after we take the Phoenix Gate. Hero not moved. Which hero? Okay, cool. Come down here and get us some more influence. Alright, good stuff. So I feel like, um, we, um, we have enough influence that we can justify using it uh, to uh, strengthen our bonds with, uh, with all right um, I don't work on Bretonia first only because we already have good relations with Bretonia while trade with Empire would be very profitable um, I want to get um, I want to get um, military alliance with Bretonia Proving. A dignified visitor, such a wait, rare wait, treat. Oh, that's... By the light of the lady, Tonya. Let the supplicant come forward. Son of a bitch! Did they? I just noticed. So, Prince before. Of when you Defender clicked on this, Phoenix it throne. didn't uh, go to the faction when it first... Um, so I feel like they patched Changing that. The Maybe they patched the Chaos Invasion. Because Legend was saying Chaos shows up around... Turn 74. Or at least starts to show up. Fuck, I don't know. Anyway, whatever. We'll see what happens. Um, anyway. Guardian of the Phoenix Crown. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think things are good. I'm trying to see if there's anything we're getting. Um, you know what? Let's, uh, let's improve our relations with these guys. We've got 89 influence, which is a decent, uh, we won't spend it any more than this. We'll just improve our relations with them. And, uh, oh, I didn't, uh, let's, where did those go? All right, so favorable relations. Let the races believe the notion that we dwindle, but that our reach is still vast. Our power to ed educate and even dictate trade relations remains unchallenged. Granting Tyrion of Lothran and Luan Leoncor of Bretonia favorable trade relations will strengthen relations between them for our game. All right. What that? So, nothing fosters relations uh, more than the death of a common foe. So, sending hated corpses to both. Tyrion of Lothan and Emperor Call friends of the Empire, each will with missives attached to the bodies claiming credit. Should should fool these two factions into strengthening their bonds. 
All right. Um, yeah, I think we just uh, hold out here. And um, um, actually, let's build that. Hero not moved, which hero? Um, yeah, you're just chilling out here because uh, you need to get this uh, corruption out of here. Um, gate, looking good. All right, I think uh, imminent rebellion. Um, yeah, that's fine. We can't uh, can't do anything about that. Uh, Unassigned skill points. Zathos. All right. Um, yeah, increase trade. I think. Good stuff. Where is Zathos? Okay, Zathos is there. Maybe bring him down here. I don't know. All right, end the turn there. What have we? Uh, let's see if I can figure out where I left off with um, with Tolkien from uh, his letter to uh, to Milton, Milton uh, Waldman. Boy, all right. So uh, while he wore it, his power on Earth was actually enhanced. So uh, we're talking about Sauron here and the uh, the One Ring. Um, I think I read this already. Um, Sauron's own being would be diminished vanishing point it would be reduced to a shadow um, I'll read it again just in case I don't know fuck whatever <laughs> I yeah as I said in a previous episode I will occasionally repeat myself um, yeah so uh, while he wore it his power on earth was actually enhanced but even if he did not wear it that power existed and was in rapport with himself it was not diminished unless some other seized it and became possessed of it if that happened, the new possessor could, if sufficiently strong and heroic by, na by nature, challenge Sauron, become master of that ring. All you learn. Um, yeah, I definitely, definitely did read this re recently. Yeah, this is, yeah, probably been recording too much. Anyway, I guess I might as well finish it. Um, yeah, I apologize for this, guys. Uh, um, all that he had learned or done since uh, the making of the One Ring, and so overthrow him and usurp his place. This was the essential weakness he had introduced into the situation. Largely unsuccessful to enslave the elves, and in his desire to establish a control over the minds and wills of his servants, there was another weakness. If the One Ring actually unmade, annihilated, then its power would be dissolved. Sauron's own being would be diminished to vanishing point, and he would be reduced to a shadow, a mere memory of malicious will. Also, so great was the ring's power of lust that anyone who used it became mastered by it. It was beyond the strength of any will, even his own, to injure it, cast it away, or neglect it. So he thought. It was in any case on his finger. All right. Yeah. Um, I guess maybe I didn't read all of that. I feel like I read some of it. Um, fuck, I don't know. Um, definitely gonna take a uh, a breather for a day or two after this I think and um, and just uh, sit on my laurels for a little while I, I feel like the campaign is is coming along really well um, yeah I mean we've been under pressure here a little bit I've made some mistakes but uh, you know we've been able to we've been able to uh, to recover from most of our mistakes uh our mistakes and Awaiting yeah orders. so i'm just gonna continue to go at this slow methodical pace let uh let this army um army replenish um we're actually um just about out of time and i am really anxious to uh to make sure that the recording um actually went through so i'm gonna end the episode here and uh thank you guys for watching um, I really appreciate all the support I've been getting. Um, this series has done leaps and bounds uh, better than I had expected. Um, so yeah, I, I really appreciate um, everything, guys. Um, hope to uh, see you uh, next time. This is uh, Ragnarok signing out.